So now in Interlaken again. Much sunnier weather this time. Pretty warm as well, especially for uh, mid-April. Anyway, the idea of this is to walk along the river Ar between Brient and Lake Tun and to the other lake by boat as well. So two lakes in one day on the BLS ships. And I've made up my mind whether I'm going to go to Spiez or Tun, depends on the time. Uh, what a fantastic day, beautiful scenery. morning. I'm going for a, a longer walk today. I don't know how the knees are going to go cope because I've uh, come up with a madcap idea of walking from Wengen to Lauterbrunnen and then plan to do a valley walk from Lauterbrunnen and onwards, see how it goes but uh, I think this is going to be a bit of a knee smasher. But, uh, I've always wondered about paths down from Wengen to the valley floor so uh, Time to go explore. Quite a lot of forest I hear, but uh, hopefully have some nice views through uh, some gaps during the walk itself. been uh, well, 25 minutes half hour so far been downhill most of the way not too steep but uh, this is the real steep bit I think this is uh, the zigzags it comes from the inner Wengen 
path and then just starts basically heading straight down this massive steep sided uh, valley side and uh, one of about two paths down and uh, as you can see it's pretty steep and zigzag for quite some time seeing this on the map it looked interesting it's absolutely thigh burner coming uphill but uh, still quite pleasant Well, quite a way down there, and I'm absolutely intrigued by what I thought was an old road or an old funicular. Kind of emphasises that it might have been an old funicular up I have to do some research to see uh, what it was and when it was replaced or, and, and swapped over to the route you see now. If it is a funicular, it could just be the old original road. Well, finally made it down the Lauterbrunnen. And if I said I have no pain in my knees whatsoever, I'll be lying. My knees are absolutely on fire from that. It's about 2,000 feet steep descent. In about 50 minutes, it's uh, a very steep path. Highly enjoyable. enjoyable. So for part two, hopefully a little bit more gentler than that walk, this might be to go down these stairs at the moment, um, it's going to be following the Luchinen River down to Svai Luchinen, which I take it means the meeting of the two Luchinens from uh, the Grindelwald area, and this of course comes from Steckelberg, the Roman area. And if I'm still feeling fit, Sly Lucina and continue on down to Wildersville. Well, I'm not continuing on into it, and that's just a bit too far. We'll see how it goes. This is supposed to be a very nice river walk. Very easy, moderate compared with what I've just done. I'm going to stop some photographs on the way.
I'm on the uh, last stretch down into Wildersville now. It's been uh, quite a long walk. I think the last time I looked at a fitness tracker thing, it was heading on for about eight and a half miles or so, even with nine miles by now. Very pleasant. Did enough signposts. Not a lot in the way of anywhere to stop and get anything to eat or drink by the uh, automated machine thing at the Svalucina station. I managed to grab a Coke and sugary drink. Oh, last mile or so into the, the village. Uh, crossing the railway tracks now. Yeah, this is the funicular that goes from Villasville to the Schinica Plata. It's uh, pretty much an underused uh, track in my own view because it seems only to be open from around about June for about three months. The rest of the year it just closed. I don't know if the snow's too much higher up, but the other railways all manage and clear it, so I've no idea. Perhaps it's just not cost effective. Anyway, just on the outskirts right now. I think I've been saying I've been on the outskirts the last half hour. Village now, walk's finished, taken about four hours from Wengen. It's all the way down via Lauterbrunnen and Zweilutschinen. It's time to go and find a place that's got beer. I've got my hopes too high because it's Good Friday and I think a lot of the places are closed today. Well, certainly the shops, I won't get a cheap one, I'll have to do it an expensive one from a bar. Anyway, enjoy the walk, it's a good one, recommended if you're fit enough and your knees can just about take that hack down from Wengen down to Lauterbrunnen, but I've got really bad knees and uh, I made it, so it shouldn't be too bad, unless you're on crutches.